Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another Lead Code tutorial video. My name is Professor Rob K. Today we'll be going over a Lead Code problem called reverse integer and this is deemed as medium level difficulty. So given a signed 32-bit integer x, return x with its digits reversed. The first thing we can do is convert the given integer to string form. So we say string form equals str of x. That's how you convert an integer to a string in Python. We can convert the string to a list so that we can iterate through it. We can set another variable to reverse string form. So string form reversed equals string of x, str of x. And then we convert that to a list. List string form rev equals list string form reversed. Since there's negative numbers, what we can do is initialize or instantiate a Boolean to denote whether or not the number that's given to us is negative. So we'll just say negative number equals false as the base case. Some logic to determine if it's a negative number and if so, we first remove that negative sign so that we can work with the digits. And then later on, if that Boolean is true, then we slap that negative back on to the front of the number. If the first element of the string is the dash, we pop the first element off and we do the same for the reversed uh, variable that we're going to save later. And then we say negative number equals true. Now, since we're going to iterate through the list of the string of the integer, then we can say length of integer equals len of list string form, because the list is going to have the set of each digit in the number. So then we iterate through. So list string form reversed, I equals list string form length of int minus i minus one. And basically this just swaps the two uh, elements. So we're, we're saying that the new reversed list takes the element, the opposite element. Now we just do some unpacking. We unlist the string form reversed and we do it in the following way. List string form reversed. Then we convert it back to an integer and finally check if it's a negative number. If it is, slap the negative on the front. And finally, return int string form rev. We'll see if this works. And we see that we get an accepted response. OK, we're working through the code. I made the nested for loop and was thinking about iterating from the front, and iterating from the end of the uh, number. but. Really, it's not needed because I wasn't even using the variable j. So to swap, we just do one for loop and we look at the front and back and swap. It's really as simple as that. So thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for more Elite Code tutorial videos as well as math problem solutions and mathematician interviews.